Hello everyone, here's my weekly word to you. The update is that we had another great worship on the lawn on Sunday. It was a wonderful morning, great. Everything was good about it. It It's just good to be together. And so we've planned another one for a few weeks out on August 23rd, 8.15 again in the morning to help with, uh, so that it doesn't get too hot. And so mark that date for the next worship on the lawn early in the morning. We look forward to having you there. Uh, Bring your mask, bring your lawn chair, come and park on the edge of the lawn in your car if you'd like to do it that way. Uh, We'd just love to see you there. So August 23rd. Here's my thought. You know when you're in a car, particularly a really fast car, and that feeling you get when you push the accelerator all the way to the floor and you feel yourself going back into the seat and how exhilarating that is. Accelerating can be fun, no doubt, but not so much when a crisis comes along. A crisis accelerates things in a way that we don't often want. What a crisis does is that it often takes whatever is going on and intensifies it at an exponential level. So if you before this pandemic, for example, were struggling with something like a relationship with someone, you might find yourself now really struggling in that way. Local businesses that were on the edge before the pandemic started and, and probably wouldn't, wouldn't make it now experience that timeline at a much faster rate than they would have without the pandemic. A crisis is an accelerator. One of the most obvious things for the church that hit the accelerator was the need for doing more, doing online ministry. Even for churches that were already online, the pandemic accelerated the need for more of it. And we've been wanting to do more online for quite some time at Canyon Creek, but when the pandemic started, the need to do it was placed on steroids. Let me tell you, a crisis is an accelerator. What has hit the accelerator for you these past few months? Something at work? At home? Something to do with your faith? Your health? If you have an answer to that question, know that you are not alone. We are all in this together, and God is right there with us all along the way. Take comfort in that thought and take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.